Hi, this is Monica Burns with Morally Design Services. This is a tutorial on how to give me access to your social media platforms for automated posts to be made without giving me your password or your login name. It's a secure method uh, to protect you and to protect me so that we don't have any kind of connection. If one of us is hacked, then the other one uh, doesn't get hacked as well. So I've sent you an email from eClincher. If it doesn't land in your inbox, please check your spam or your promo folder or social updates folder if you use Gmail. You'll have uh, the link that when you click on will take you to a screen that looks like this. There's a uh, secure password in that email. You need to use that password in order to access um, the back end of eClincher for purposes of connecting your account. I recommend um, saving that email, but I would save it as, um, I, I would print it um, either to a PDF or to an actual paper, um, piece of paper that you print off of your printer. You, you don't want to leave it an email because if somebody hacks your email, then they can find that uh, password and the link and then that causes problems as well. So let's get started with um, how to actually give me access to your social media platforms in a secure manner. Again you'll have received that email with the password and with the link. The link will take you to a screen that looks like this. You're going to want to put the password that came in that email um, right here. When you enter this uh, password in the um, dialog box here, put your cursor in the front and back of it. Uh, with In the front, press backspace. Uh, you don't want any blank spaces included here that you can't see. It'll say the password's wrong. So I always, uh, front and back, delete any possible blank spaces. So once you're satisfied that the key or the password is correct, click login. You'll be taken to this screen. For the purposes of just doing straight automated postings, this page is irrelevant. You want to click on manage accounts so that you can give me access to whatever profile that we've agreed to. I only do Facebook, Instagram business accounts. While I can use the user profile account, it takes manual labor to push posts to the profile and I don't do that because it's again cost prohibitive. I also do Twitter and I am currently um, considering doing uh, TikTok in the future, possibly WordPress. It will just depend on how those two platforms integrate with eClincher and I always test them on my own personal accounts first just so I know what I'm doing and how they actually perform. If you have Google Analytics I'm happy for you to connect that uh, to the account here. One other really nice thing about this particular new feature that eClincher has added for the external users is that I no longer have to have access to your personal profile on Facebook in order to actually post to your groups. Meaning in the past I've had to have the username and the actual password to log in and connect uh, eClincher with Facebook if I wanted to do uh, groups posting. That no longer is an issue because you, when you connect Facebook you're doing it with your own user profile and I don't have to worry about uh, jumping through hoops to get your automated posts in your group. To connect your social media account to eClincher for postings, you'll just click on the actual icon. I cannot demonstrate Facebook here because it's being a real pain, <laughs> like Facebook always is, and I can't not show you that, but it will come up in a pop-up box that looks just like when you would sign in on your phone app or on your computer with your requesting your login name and your password and then another screen will pop up that um, actually asks whether or not you want 
to give eClincher access to edit posts and you want to tell it yes you you want to tell it to continue as um, your name which is what it will um, show here on that blue bar um, again with Instagram business it pops up it looks just like the login for your account and again it's going to show you the eClincher request because it's tied to Facebook for Twitter, I recommend using your username because email gets kind of quirky here. And you just enter your password and then authorize the app. And again, it's going to ask you, do you want to give eClincher access to the account? And you'll say uh, yes in order for this to actually work. Each one of these is essentially going to look like what you see when you actually log directly into the social media account itself. Whatever account that you add, do not check the box um, in, in the integrations or even here because I need to do that based on what we've agreed to in terms of where I'm to post. If you turn it on, then it creates a problem with scheduling. So I'll manually do that from within the app itself online where I work. Basically, that's all there is to it. To log out, all you do is go up and you close the tab. Once you close the tab, you go to wherever it is that uh, you were in your browser to begin with. You're completely logged out and everything is nice and secure. If you have any questions, I'm happy to um, answer them. And thank you for watching.